Happy New Year and welcome to 2022, everyone. MDT's first video of 2022 going to be an absolute banger. We're coming at you with the top 10 WWE Elite action figures of 2021. I wanted this to start off the new year. Of course, we will have the collections and the room tours and all the different things going on, but I think today we're going to start off the year with my top 10 WWE Elites of 2021. Now, none of these figures that you see in front of you are on the list, but they they are some of the better figures of the year, man. 2021 was an insane year of WWE action figures, AEW action figures, just wrestling action figures, or just regular action figures in general, man. There were so many damn good figures last year, and it's insane to think about, man. And I think 2022 is going to be even better. So as we dive into it, man, as you guys can see, we got a lot of great figures right here, and I wanted to give some of these some love. These are my honorable mentions that could be in anybody's top 10, and there's some figures that didn't even make the honorable mentions that were really damn good as well. Come to think of it, I'm thinking of one right now. I think there's one more. I think Bobby Lashley could go in here, man. That Elite 89 Bobby Lashley was damn good. Some of these sets that we got later in the year was just incredible with just the double jointed arms and the added articulation and the details and stuff that some of these figures have gotten. It's just insane. But I wanted to give some of these some honorable mentions before we dive into my top 10. Starting out left to right, Austin Theory. Great first figure. Feels great in the hand. It's just a great uniform looking figure. I mean, just look at it, man. Good Lord in heaven. They did an outstanding job on his first figure. Elite 83 Edge. That was our first Elite Edge in the main line in a long, long time. And it was fantastic. It looked so good. The only thing that I, you know, that kept it out of the top 10 is it didn't come with this torso. I put that torso on it. It really completes it. Had it come like that, it would easily be in my top 10, I believe. This Elite 85 Bray Wyatt is the most underrated figure of the year. Hands down, it shelf warms everywhere. Nobody wants it, but it's so damn good. It's so good. It's so good. It barely missed the cut. It is a beautiful looking Bray Wyatt. Firefly Funhouse, much better than the Ringside Exclusive. Elite 87 Apollo Crews is a damn good figure. It was the best figure in Elite 87, and it just missed the cut. Elite 88 Rey Mysterio, beautiful looking attire, just kind of wobbly, didn't quite make it. I hated that he had the eye patch, so I couldn't quite put him in my top 10. Still a great figure. Dominic Mysterio had a great first figure. I like the formula, I just wasn't big on his skin tone. Wasn't the biggest Mysterio fan, so that's why he kind of missed the cut. Elite Mustafa Ali, the new Retribution one, great figure. What a great figure figure, but it just missed the cut as well. It was so close to making the cut, and some of these things have adjusted, man. Some of the things that I ranked earlier in the year may have fallen behind other figures, like as opinions change and as things, and I'm playing around with them more and more. You know, sometimes my opinions change at the time of the video, and sometimes that's why we gotta do updated videos and stuff like that, but Elite 88 MVP is an insane figure, first Elite in a very long time. Elite 84 Sheamus was a standout, one of the, uh, another very underrated figure this year, and then Bobby Lashley was incredible as well. He even came with elbow pads that were stretchier, so where you could like mold the figure a lot better and bend his, his arms and stuff a lot better. But dude, what a great year of figures, man. I'm excited to dive into my top 10. We're not going to wait any further, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to dive into my top 10 figures of the year. So let's go ahead and get started with MDT's official countdown of the top 10 WWE Elite Action Figures of 2021. And starting off our countdown at number 10 is going to be Elite Series 88 Kushida. This figure is outstanding, man. I hate that it couldn't be any higher on the list, but it's just a, it's just such a gem, man. It's so underrated. It's such a gem. It like the, the molds they used and the formula they used, the double jointed arms, uh, just the details that we get on this figure. You got the white hoverboard gear, Back to the Future-esque. You guys know with Kushida. You got the hoverboard deal going down the sides with the patterns and stuff. Just an epic looking figure, man. It feels great in the hand. It poses well. Not to mention all the cloth goods you got with this guy and the accessories with the glasses. I mean, dude, he is literally just so, so good. He's so good. If you own this figure, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a gem. It is an absolute gem. He could not be left off the list. He had to come in at number 10, but this was an incredible year for figures, and Kushida just made the cut, and I'm glad that he did because this is a damn good football figure. Now, coming in at number nine, you guys are probably going to be pretty shocked, but I went with the Elite Series 88 Roman Reigns. Now, if you guys watched my ranking of Elite Series 88, you would have noticed that I think Roman Reigns was like second to last, and Kushida came in at like number two or one in that ranking. And the like, obviously, he didn't have the silver gauntlet, he had a gold gauntlet, and he didn't have this custom head sculpt. Those were added. But just having a double jointed Roman and the way that they did the gold gauntlet and the way that the head sculpt looked, and I love how they gave him the new sculpted shoulders and the double jointed arms and the removable gauntlets just makes for a really epic Roman Reigns. 
and like I know it's not the most detailed crazy stuff but when you take a figure and it's like a replica of the person in real life and it captures that so well that is what makes a figure so damn good to me so seeing that with the Roman Reigns was just undeniable I couldn't leave him out of my top 10 he almost came in at number 10 for those reasons but I think he is slightly better than the Kushida I would rather have the Roman over the Kushida and that's kind of where my you know my my headspace is when ranking these figures you know what figures would I rather have you have the criteria for the ranking same as my others you know excitement level posability details accessories how much is it going to get used all these different things come into play and when I think about Roman Reigns and I think about the tribal chief man this figure does a great job of embodying it I'd like to see some new technology for the shield legs that we've seen for years and years but overall man this Roman is just insane and I'd like to know down below for the top 10 countdowns do you guys like where I just talk and the figure spins around or do you like it where you know I hold the figure and you know spin it around and kind of you know, do what I'm doing right now you guys can let me know down in the comment section below but Roman Reigns is the number nine figure Now, coming in at number eight is a figure that I didn't quite rank as high. I actually went back and looked at it, and kind of insane because this figure is crazy good, man. And that's going to be Elite Series 90 Bronson Reed. Oh my God, what a figure, man. The jacket on this guy, the attire, I love the way his articulation is. He just has a good ab crunch. He feels good in the hand. He's got some heft to him. Feels like he's going to just crash into your face and ruin your whole meal. It's just a great looking figure. Fantastic head sculpt. Pops right off of course because of the updated technology but it's a great looking head sculpt it's a great looking figure overall I love the posability I like the you know like the sort of dodgeball grabby hands that he's got going on right there it's just a great figure man I can't believe that I, I didn't rank it as high as I did but uh, it's just a great one when you go back to it and you actually breathe it all in this figure is phenomenal and now that I'm doing this right here I wish that I would have done the spinny for for all of them maybe I, I guess I still could do that in post but what a what dude what a great figure absolute beast of a figure the bam bam bigelow inspired gear the purple and the colors and stuff this guy just wrecks havoc and it, it just shows in his figure it's a great piece and he had to make my top 10 countdown couldn't leave him out this is one of mattel's best this year Number seven is Elite Series 88, Matthew Riddle. And I love this figure, man. You guys will see that I have two different cases here. Now, the one that's wearing the accessories in the t-shirt and the hat is actually the one that I did the fix-up on where I switched the head sculpt out for his first basic just because I like the likeness better. But the second head sculpt, or the one that originally came on the figure, isn't my favorite, but damn, what a great figure, man. It feels great in the hand. I love it. I don't know if I love it as much as his first go-around as far as, like, accessories and attire. But overall, I love the double-jointed arms. I think that overall it just creates a great unit uniformed figure. Uh, Matt Riddle's one of my favorites, man. He's a beast. And this uh, like Halloween gear isn't my favorite, but I, I like Matt Riddle a lot. I like the accessories that we got with him. And it's just a really fun figure, man. Really fun figure to post around. And it had to crack my top 10 as well. I think it's a fantastic piece. Feels really good in the hand. That's all you really want to ask for with Matt Riddle. And this one had to make my cut at number seven. Coming in at number six is the WWE Fan Takeover Amazon exclusive Johnny Gargano in the Wolverine gear. Oh my God in heaven, what a figure we got right here. This figure right here, I want to say it was one of the top figures halfway through the year, man. It was one of the top figures halfway through the year. The Wolverine gear is so detailed. It's a perfect formula for Johnny Gargano. I hate that it doesn't have the rips in the jacket, but I don't think that matters because of all the details you get. Like you can tell that it's Wolverine by the by the comic font and the way that they've done everything here man this is just a really detailed figure i love that they got the wrist gauntlets accurate it's a great head sculpt i know it's repeated but this is a perfect gargano figure from head to toe i don't think you can really challenge it 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 literally looks just like gargano the formula is great the height and the scaling is great it is one of the best figures that mattel has made this year by far and i wouldn't be shocked if people included it in their like top 10 ever like i could see that i could see somebody doing that it is that damn good and you're probably wondering why it's number six well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? I'm not the biggest Gargano fan in the world, never really have been, but he is a damn good performer, and this figure encaptures him perfectly. Therefore, I had to put him at the number six spot. What a great choice for the fan takeover figure. Plus, Wolverine's one of my favorite comic book characters of all time. 
looking into the top five of my favorite figures of the year, man, Randy Orton Elite Series 90 had to crack it, man. The white gear. As soon as he came out in this gear, I had 100 people tag me. You know, they were they were posting it all over the place. I probably had 100 mentions across all social media platforms, which I absolutely love when you guys do that. You know, it shows that you think about me, and it's, it's really nice to see. I love you guys all so much. But getting tagged in that, man, I immediately took to Instagram and was like, make this figure into a figure. Make this attire into a figure. We were, we were tagging Mattel. We were tagging Bill. And we were like, you're going to make this figure, god dang it. And what did they do, man? They created it, and it looks incredible. It's one of my favorite figures of the year. Probably my favorite Randy Orton they've ever made. I would say that the arms are a little bit skinny for me, and I wish that, you know, the arms were a little bit bigger, and the head sculpt could be a tad better. I think if the head sculpt was just a tad better, I did remove the hair there. That's why he looks a little bit bald there. There's no color in the hair. But if the arms were just a bit bigger, a bit more detailed, and then the, the head sculpt was just a tad bit better, this figure would have easily been in my top three. Could have been even number one. Who knows? But this figure is insane. Now we're just waiting on our edge and matching white gear, and it'll all be a good day. But this Randy Orton had to crack my top five. It is a beast. It is beautiful. And I, I had to. I absolutely had to include it in my top five. What a beautiful piece. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Greatness. Coming in at number four, man, is going to be none other than Kevin Owens. This Elite Series 91 Kevin Owens is just beautiful, man. You guys know that KO is one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, so this one was a no-brainer. The updated tattoos, the double-jointed arms, the fantastic head sculpt. I love everything going on with it. It was one of my favorite attires that he's worn, too, with the blue and the yellows and the stun, the world shirt. You know, he didn't win the title, but it was still beautiful. Still think he could win tonight. You know, he's, he's competing for the championship tonight. I think he could win, so that could be even a thing there. Kevin Owens is a fantastic masterpiece, and this figure just seems encapsulates that man it just really captures everything i love about ko i think he looks like a beast this is his best figure by far can't wait for more but the double jointed arms the white tape this is just uh pretty much a perfect kevin owens figure from head to toe and when the figure again when a figure perfectly captures somebody it is going in the top countdown man it's just the way it is it does a fantastic job of that and i had to include it here today kevin owens is my number four figure of the year for 2021 Number three is Elite Series 86, Seth Rollins. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I own legitimately eight of this figure. I have this one. I have multiple fix-ups. I have ones on the shelf for customs. I have one that I use in the pick feathers. Literally so many different versions of this figure. It's that damn good. The pink and black and silver, as soon as he came out in that Rey Mysterio-inspired gear, I knew it was going to be made into a figure, and they nailed it. I actually like the figure version better than the real-life version. I think this pink that they used here on this figure looks fantastic. I love the head sculpt. He's got like a damn mob ball style head sculpt and face. I actually like this head sculpt better than the new one that we're getting, I think, on the Elite 93. I like the entrance vest that we got, the gloved hand. Overall, just love it. I know that we're getting a new formula with the Elite 93 Rollins, but this is still a damn good Rollins. I think this is one of the best Rollins they've ever made. It can, can compete with the Elite 45. It can compete with the Elite 64. It can compete with every single Rollins that you name. If you say this one's your favorite, I wouldn't even doubt you, man. This is one of my favorite Seth Rollins, one of my favorite talents, so again, you guys could kind of see a theme here. If they make a banger figure of one of my favorite guys, it's going to be easy to rank them ahead. You know, it's it's hard to do, but it's just a great figure, man. It's it's so great. I just think this captures Rollins beautifully. I really wish we could have gotten a cloth accessory with this one or the Elite 93 that we're going to be getting very soon, but this, this Monday Night Messiah figure is sick AF, and I could not leave it out of my top five, especially my top three. What a gem of a figure. in at number two is a figure that a lot of people should have ranked at the number one spot because this figure right here if you don't have this figure in your top 10 then you're just a hater or you don't know a good figure when it slaps you right in the titties because this figure right here is insanity and it is so damn good that it's crazy man the amount of detail and time and effort that went into this figure should be this actually should be the standard of what Mattel WWE action figure should be man when you go to create a character on WWE television and you lay the groundwork man this should be your basis for it 
Amazing head sculpt, check. Right formula, check. Details throughout, check. Uh, some things we haven't seen before, check. It's got tattoos, it's got a necklace, it's got the removable gauntlets, which we haven't seen with a new sculpt. It's got a brand new sculpted crotch piece with the belt and the different lassos and the pockets and the freaking chains and the netting and everything on it. It's a great looking gear. I mean, Jesus Christ, he's got the double jointed arms. This is a figure that just sets the standard, man. This figure is insane, and I I don't even like Damian Priest really. He improved a lot in the ring for me, but holy hell. What an action figure. I mean, like, I could be asleep, and this guy will wake up in the night, come into my room, and beat the shit out of me, because he's that good. He's, just, he's a literal mini version of Damian Priest, and that's why this figure is so good. Now, I don't even like Damian Priest, but this is a damn good action figure, and if it weren't for one thing this year, this guy would have easily been number one, and it would be uh, very impossible to beat. This guy right here is insane, and he had to come in at number two, but there's only one more guy that that beat him out. And number one is none other than Elite Series 91, Rob Van Dam. You guys probably already knew when you clicked on the video who would come in at number one, and it had to be RVD. This is a figure that I've been waiting on Mattel to make for years and years, and it finally came to fruition. He's got double-jointed arms, which is something I've always wanted for RVD. It's something that I've always clamored for for Mattel WWE Elites. I want to say that I, I helped promote the addition of double-jointed arms. I've talked about it for years and years on the channel, and hopefully, maybe I was a driving force in that, and I would like to think, at least, that I have some percentage of a pull on how they create the figures. My dream is that they make a figure based on, on something to do with the channel or something to do with me at all and that would be a complete dream come true but this RVD in the Tiger Stripes gear is one that I've always loved it's super nostalgic it's something that I've wanted for so long for Mattel and to see RVD make his way back into the line after almost 70 waves and in this gear is just too iconic not to include at the number one spot it's my favorite figure of the year it's one of my favorite Mattel figures they've ever made and it's just something that hits me right in the nostalgia feels it's a great figure it poses around great. It's a great RVD. Double jointed arms. Signature RVD pose hands we've been waiting on. It's just all the good stuff, man. It's all the good stuff, and it had to come in at number one. I couldn't leave it out of the out of the top five, top three, top one. Couldn't leave it out. It is, uh, it's just one that I will always love and adore from Mattel, and that is one that, you know, I feel like that's what Mattel does, man. The number one figure of the year should just hold a special place in your heart year to year. You know, hopefully Mattel can create a figure that hits you like that. I think last year we had Elite 82 2 Finn Balor. The year before that, it was Elite 74 Finn Balor, and both of those I do hold near and dear to the heart. They're, they're two of those figures that I love and adore so much from Mattel, just straight off the cuff. So, uh, this one will join company with those and probably even surpass those. This RVD is fantastic. Couldn't leave it out and it had to be number one, man. What a fantastic figure. I want to know down below what your top ten figures are. Maybe your top five, top three, or just your favorite figure of the year, man. Would love to know those things down below. Top ten AEW figures of the year coming soon as well as the top five potential top 10 worst WWE elites and top 10 worst AEW figures of the year as we get into it man but thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy my video of the top 10 WWE elites of the year let me know all the things down in the comment section below do you agree with me what is your thoughts there I would love to know down below man but thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at my damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget that like ultimates we already did our separate list on ultimate editions and this is all about the elites man this is all about just WWE elites. This is no ultimates or, or crazy spinoffs or nothing like that. This is all just WWE elite figures. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Don't cross the line like me when I left out some damn good figures on this list. You cross the line.